Hello viewers, welcome to today's class. Your teacher is Roger Michira. We'll be taking you through history and the channel you're watching is Elimu TV where we always get to watch and learn. Welcome all and let us learn. Now, remember class, we did introduce the topic lives and contribution of, Ken uh, of, uh, of, of leaders, of the Kenyan leaders. And we did talk of, uh, we have talked of um, Kenyatta, Jomo Kenyatta, we have talked of uh, Daniel Arapto, teacher uh, Moi. Then we have also talked of, we introduced Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. Then in an earlier lesson, we did look at the early life of Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. But now today, we'll get to his political contribution, right? What, uh, how, how, what can we trace, or rather, how can, how can we talk of his political career, right? What are some of the contributions he made in his political career? And I told you, in, 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 in Kenyan politics, right, you can't mention Kenyan politics without talking of Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. And one thing we must know of him is that he is known as the father of democracy. Now, what do we expect at the end of the lesson class? We do expect that we give a detailed account on Jaramogi Oginga's political contribution to Kenya. What did he contribute? Let us get to know who this Jaramogi Oginga Odinga is. Then we say that um, one of the things we know it contributed in politics that in the year 1946, he contested the St. Pronyanza African District Council elections, right? And, and as always, Oginga Odinga won the election. So in, the 19, in 1946, that is when the first elections were held of the St. Pronyanza African District Council, right? And he won the elections. Then again, in the, in the year 1949, 1948, he met uh, Jomo Kenyatta, right? That's when he met Mr. Jomo Kenyatta in the year 1948. When Kenyatta was visiting Kisumu, right? That is Nyansa, for independency. Uh, that, 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 is, uh, that is when they were, they were, they, they were in, the, in, in the verge of uh, independence. Now, for independence, Kenyatta returned to Kisumu for another rally in 1952, right? So in 1948, they first met, right, in Kisumu. Then again, he returned in the year 1952. We're going to get to see when they had talks, right? That is uh, Jeramongi Oginga. Then at, at the center is um, the Jomo Kenyatta. That is when they first met in the year 1948. Then again, in the elections of 1957, of the first African elected members to the, 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 the LEGICO, so him, Jeramongi Oginga Odinga, with B.A. Ohanga from the central Nyansa, were elected to represent Kenya in the LEGICO. And Jeramogi Oginga Odinga won the elections and joined the LEGICO, where he became the members, the, the, the chairman of the AMO. We call it the African Elected Members Organization. These were the African members who were elected to the LEGICO. Now, in the AMO, he was the chairman, right? You see now, now uh, Jeramogi Oginga Odinga is, is climbing up the political ladder, right? From when he was elected, the, 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 the South Nyansa, the, the Nyansa, uh, council district where when the elections were held, right? That's 1945, uh, right? Then again, you see now he's climbing up. 1948, they met with the Jomo Kenyatta, right? Then again, in 1952, they also met again in Kisumu when Jomo Kenyatta visited. Now, in 1957, now he has been elected, right, as a chairman of the AM, of the African Elected Members Organization to the LEGICO, right? That is Jaramogi, and, and I told you one thing you need to, we need to know about Jaramogi that he was a man of caps, right? Those good, th th those good caps, and you can see that that is Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, together with B.A. Ohanga, who were elected to the LEGICO. Those were the people from uh, Nyanza who were elected in the LEGICO. Then again, can you now talk of when Kano was in place, right? Good. Now, when Kano was born, Odinga was elected the vice president whereby Gishuru acted as the president in 1961, right? Now, uh, uh, Oginga, Odinga was elected to represent the central Nyanza. And again, one thing you might no, no notice about is that in, the, in May 1963, elections were held under the new constitution. Following Kanu's um, resounding victory, remember Kanu won tremendously, right? Whereby Odinga was appointed the minister of home affairs, right? And again, we must get to notice that um, as, as we're progressing, Odinga is, Odinga, Odinga is now going to become a uh, uh, minister without portfolio. Now, Moi, during Moi's era, Odinga was vocal under the murder of his close associate, right, who was uh, Gamma P, the, the MP, Gamma Pinto, in 1965. Now, Odinga was very vocal, 
in his assassination. So the 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 the, death, the, the, the murder of uh, Gemma Pinto, who was an MP, right? It was termed as an assassination, and Oginga Odinga was against this. He was very vocal against against this. Now, now that Oginga Odinga was very vocal, right? He was barred from all political uh, rallies, right? And he was barred from attending any political rally and also having any party. And when he was released from de uh, detention, he registered in 1977. That is when again, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga revived into the Kenyan politics, right? That is after Kenyatta's death. Remember, he was very vocal uh, during the murder of uh, Gama Pinto and Kenyatta was not happy right? That is when he sent him to detention. But again, in 1977, after the death of uh, Mzejomo Kenyatta, President Moi resumed the office of the presidency. That is when again he revived, right? He revived uh, Jaramogi Oginga. Then again, he brought him on board to the Kenyan politics, whereby he was appointed the chairman of, uh, of, the, of the cotton tint and seed marketing board. Now, and again, one thing we need to know about uh, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, there is his coup that was in 1st August 1982, whereby a section of uh, the Kenya Air Force attempted to topple the government, right? To overthrow the government, rather. So Odinga, Oginga Odinga, right? And his son, Raila Molodinga, were implicated. That is when, that, that, that again saw them into, uh, they were put under house arrest, right? And the son was detained, right? Jaramongo Oginga Odinga was put under house arrest, and his son, Raila was put in detention. That is when again, Raila during his time in detention did not get to see, uh, he did not get to attend his father's, his father's burial, right? You can get to see the, 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 the that is, uh, that is uh, Raila Molodinga, right? He is being led into detention. That is the 1982 COP, right? First August, you see, people were, people, people, people were compelled to carry IDs right, just uh, to, to identify them if, if, if they are Kenyans, right, as you are walking you are compelled to raise your ID up, right, then again you can see that we have got uh, Oginga, we have got Raila Molo there, right, then we have got Ezekiel Ochuka who was the captain in the, in the forces, right, they are being led into the, into the detention. Now and again, on his release, Odinga kept a low political profile. Now, after his uh, house release, right? Remember, he was put under house detention. Now, after his release, he kept a low political profile for several years, right? That is again we saw. That is that, that is when again he came to Ford, uh, Ford, Ford Kenya. But again, Ford split. We went Ford Asili and Ford Kenya, right? Ford Asili of uh, we had Ford of Asili of Matiba, right? Then we had the Ford Ford Kenya of Masinde Muliro. Right now, Ford Kenya represented pre was presented by Oginga Odinga as its presidential candidate in the elections of 1992. But again, Odinga became became the leader of the of official elections in the year 1992. Odinga became the official opposition leader. Now, uh, unfortunately, in 1994, Jaramogi Odinga passed away with a popular legacy of the father of opposition, right? Politics in Kenya is the father of oppos opposition politics in Kenya. Now we have briefly looked at uh, the political contribution of Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. When I told you, Oginga Odinga is also known as the father of opposition politics in Kenya. Now class, can you get to answer this question? When was that year that uh, Oginga Odinga met Jomo Kenyatta? We, we, we stated that year in our, in our discussion and for our, uh, for our for our reference, can you get to revive to evolve the world, history, and government? And as always, this is Elimu TV, your favorite learning channel where we get to watch and learn. Thank you all, and let's see you in the next class.